Uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make uh, copper nanoparticles. So basically what you require is your reductant. That reductant could be uh, any plant solution which has the ability to reduce copper salt, copper sulfate or copper nitrate. But, but, but what I'm using is copper sulfate. I uh, made copper sulfate solution and then I did titration from the plant solution. I maintained the pH of the plant using sodium hydroxide and then I did slow titration then I poured the plant solution in the burette then I, and as now you can see when you add copper sulfate uh, your salt solution is blue but when when you uh, uh, start doing a titration your copper sulfate salt solution turns to green which indicates the formation of copper nanoparticles. So, and you got to maintain your temperature as well. As you guys can see over here, I'm maintaining my temperature at around like 80 degrees, and and I'm in, and I'm making sure that the titration goes very slow because the slower that your titration is, the smaller your nanoparticle is. Here is the pH from which we use to maintain the pH of the plant solution. Uh, the pH required is around 10 to 11 or 9 to 9.5 to 10.5. After maintaining the plant solution, you just pour it in the burette and you do slow titration and that's it. And from blue to green and from green it turns to black which indicates the formation of carbon nanoparticles.